Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the BINKW32.DLL file is missing error you might be experiencing on Windows. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser. Doesn't matter what web browser we're going to use, I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge for this tutorial. And now into Google, I'm going to type in BINKW32.DLL download. And now you want to select the download that is from DLL slash files.com. You do not want to download it from any other sites here. You want to download it from DLL slash files.com. And now you want to scroll down on this page. You want to select underneath bits and version. You want to select the correct version of DLL file. Now for most people, the 32-bit, it shouldn't make it that big of a difference because that's a 32-bit version is the only one that's currently available. So that's the one we're going to use for this tutorial. And we're going to just select the most up-to-date version. So the newest one should be near the top. Description should be Rad Video Tools. You want to click on the download button. I should note that everything in this tutorial is completely free. I'm not showing you guys any weird downloads or anything that should be completely legitimate. And it should say, what do you want to do with this zip file? I'm going to just save it. And I'm going to open the folder. And at this point, I can close out of the web browser here. And before I go any further in this tutorial, I do want to go back on what I just said. Make sure you're not downloading the demo software or any other weird links. At this point in this video, you should be seeing this exact window that I'm showing. Even if you're using a different web browser, you still want to open up the folder so you have a similar view to what I'm showing you guys right now. So it shouldn't be that complicated. I'm sure a couple of you guys are going to just click on some random link and I really can't help you with that. I'm trying to be as clear as I can. So if you're watching this, please make sure you're downloading the exact steps that I'm showing in this video. And you really should not have any problem either way. I'm just wanting you guys to be on the same page as I am. So there should be the first folder that comes up should say BINKW32 should be a compressed zip folder. I'm going to double click to open it up. And again, there should be a DLL file in there. So now what I'm going to do is head to the start menu and open that up. And I'm going to type in file explore. And it should say desktop app right beneath it. I'm going to click to open that up. And now underneath the view tab of file explorer, I'm going to left click on that. And now on the far right side, there should be something that says options right here. You're going to just left click on that. And now underneath folder options, you want to left click on the view tab. It should be the middle tab in between general and search. And then underneath hidden files and folders, left click on this circle that says show hidden files, folders, and drives. If it's already selected, you do not have to worry about it. But if it's currently set to don't show hidden files, folders, or drives, you want to change that. And then click on Apply and OK to save. And now that we're still on the File Explorer window, we're going to go underneath this PC. So left click on this PC. And now I'm going to go underneath my local disk C drive. Some of you guys might have a different drive letter, so D or E is definitely possible. Or you might have it on an external hard drive, so a lot of people do have programs that they install on a different drive altogether. But for most people, just follow along with what I'm showing in this video it should be pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to double click on this local disk. And now I'm going to double click on the Windows folder. And now I'm going to scroll down until I get to System32 right here. Double click on that. And now in this other folder I have right here with this BINKW32.DLL. Keep in mind we double clicked on this folder back here. We double clicked on it. So it should have a little picture of a DLL file or a couple gear icons. You do not want to just drag and drop this whole compressed folder in there. It's not going to work. So like I showed you guys, we want to make sure it says .dll at the end. And I'm going to just drag it over to this other folder. And I'm going to go right over where it says system32. 
It says copy to system 32. I'm going to release the pressure off my left mouse key, drop it in. It will say you need to provide administrator permission to copy this folder. I'm going to select continue. should take one moment here and you should be good to go. So I'd recommend you restart your computer and everything should be fine. So as always, thank you for watching this tutorial. I would hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.